Since 2020, there's been over 500 reported orca attacks and encounters with boats in the Atlantic Ocean. And these past few months have seen an increase in the amount and severity of these attacks. With three boats sunk since April of this year and encounters spreading to different regions of the Atlantic Ocean, experts are now searching for answers. However, experts have narrowed down why they believe orcas are attacking boats. And it's way more fascinating than you might think. Today we're going over why orcas are currently targeting boats in the Atlantic Ocean and if they will continue in the future. Almost every day you turn on the news now, these orca encounters are being talked about. Now admittedly, a lot of news stations tend to overhype these encounters, calling more playful ones like this an attack. However, that doesn't take away from the fact that there's been severe damage done to a lot of the vessels. Orcas are a member of the dolphin family and are quite possibly the second smartest animal on the planet. Now out of the blue in 2020, these marine mammals started attacking boats near the coast of Spain and Portugal but it wasn't until this year that the encounters became more severe. As you can see, multiple videos have captured these animals ramming holes into boats and tearing the rudder off. So why in the world are orcas attacking boats? There's no definitive answer, but experts have narrowed it down to three different possibilities. The first is the most popular theory among most people, and that's because it's the most complex. It's all centered around this orca right here, named Gladys, and many experts experts theorize that she's the reason for all of these attacks. It's believed she suffered some sort of trauma from a boat, most likely getting hit multiple times or getting entangled in fishing net, and therefore started attacking boats for revenge. And over the last few years, she's transferred the behavior onto other orcas in the region, along with their calves. There's only about 40 known orcas that live in this stretch of ocean, so it could easily be done. Another thing that makes this theory more possible is the fact that she was pregnant when these attacks first started. She might have felt threatened by boats and in order to protect her unborn calf, started attacking. Recent photos have also shown her and her calf both going after boats together. This is definitely the most eye-catching theory, but other experts claim this isn't the case. Which brings us to the second possibility. The orcas are doing it just to play with the boats and kind of toy with them. Orcas are incredibly intelligent, but revenge isn't really a behavior seen in many wild animals, which makes this theory a possibility as well. Every encounter starts the same way. The orcas circle the boat for a few minutes, then go in and take off or mess with the rudder, and usually after that, they leave the scene. You have to remember, only three boats have been sunk with over 500 encounters, so most of the time, the orcas aren't being too aggressive. This would also explain why the orca calves attack too. It's a playful behavior. They see the rudder underwater and look at it as kind of a toy. This this theory has gained a lot of traction here recently. The third possibility is that the orcas are using the rudders of boats to teach the young how to hunt. This theory was proposed by a boat captain who has had his vessel attacked twice by orcas since 2020 and since has gained some traction from experts. This would also explain why the young attack the boat too, so they can learn how to properly hunt. This would also explain the spread and the behavior. They see this as an opportunity to teach the calves how to successfully hunt with Without the threat of a reverse attack. It's definitely a strong possibility. Now one thing all experts can agree on is the fact that this is not good for orcas in the area, especially with the attacks spreading to different regions. People might eventually start to target orcas if they come near the boat, which isn't too good for an already small orca population. Alright guys, now I have been making a few videos over this over the past about month and a half because this is a really interesting topic and we're now getting more understanding about why these attacks are happening. But make sure to let me know what you think the reason is in the comment section down below. But that is going to wrap up today's video, but before you go, make sure to smash that like button and most importantly subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss out on awesome videos just like this one. I'm Ray Tiller and I'll see you on the next video.